Hey everybody, welcome to another raw therapy tutorial. You know, I've been making these tutorials for a little while now and I would really love to see what you guys are making. So if you have edited any photos with raw therapy, go ahead and put it up on your Instagram and use the hashtag capital R capital T underscore edit. And then I'll search for that hashtag and uh, hopefully what I'd like to do is start a little segment of these tutorials where we can look at other people's photos and just see what great amazing things you guys are creating. So, uh, and of course, if anybody's photos get featured here, I'll be sure to give a shout out to your Instagram um, so you guys can get some, hopefully some extra follows there. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see here, we are in raw therapy and I'm here in the file browser. And you can see that a lot of these photos look very similar and that's because I decided to go ahead and take my drone out and see if I could do a time lapse of the sunrise. So I've gone ahead and edited these, but I'm actually just gonna select them. Let's see, right click and go to processing, file operations, and clear. Okay, they've all been cleared. And you can see that I've rated all of them with three stars. That's not because the photos uh, are bad, that's just because I had rated some other photos as five stars and I just wanted these particular photos to be easily accessible. So I'm gonna come here and I'm just gonna select the three star option here, the filter option. And I'll just come here to my first photo. Actually, I'm gonna start at the end. Uh, I'm gonna start at the end and double click on my last photo. And the reason that I'm starting with my last photo is one, um, it's you can see that there's been some, some loss of data here, some overexposure. And I know that this final photo is gonna be the brightest. And so it's easier to darken things down than it is to lighten things up. And since this is a sunrise, it's supposed to get lighter. So if I start with the first photo here and I, I do any some exposure tweaks on this photo, then I could really blow some highlights out over here and really overexpose the image. So instead, I'm gonna start with the last photo instead of starting with the first photo. And before I start, uh, you can see this purple. And this is really important because this means that the highlights are so overexposed that raw therapy actually doesn't know what to do with it. And so that's where we can use the highlight reconstruction tool. So I'll just go ahead and then click that and you can see, voila, it's already fixed. Now let's come here to the method. The, the default method is blend. If I come here to luminance recovery, you can see that there's not much difference. If I come here to the CIE lab blending, there's not much difference and the color propagation. You can see there's there's a little change between the blend and the color propagation. Uh, I, I'll do another tutorial later on this particular tool, but for now, let's just leave it at blend. And then let's go ahead and take the exposure down until we, I'm, I'm looking at my histogram over here and I want this to just be touching the edge. I want this, this peak here. And that way I know my exposure is correct on my image. And finally, I would adjust the blacks, but actually there's the right amount of contrast. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and lift the brightness up. Actually, I'm gonna take the brightness down a little bit. And I'm gonna bump the saturation up to about 20. So that's it for the exposure tab. Now let's head over to the sharpening. And I'm gonna zoom into one to one and I'm gonna look at this this building here, if I untick the sharpening and retick it, there's not that much of a difference. I'm gonna bump this up to maybe 500, really sharpen that out. Uh, we remember the local contrast tool from previous tutorials. I'm gonna zoom out and you can see what that does. And I'm just gonna leave that at the base settings. And instead, I'm gonna come down here to the noise reduction and I'm gonna turn that on. Now I took these pictures with my drone and I don't know if you've taken pictures with drones before, but in general, regardless of the ISO, they tend to be incredibly noisy. So I'm gonna zoom into one-to-one -one and I'm gonna look at a shadowy area. And you can see if I turn my noise reduction off and turn it on, you can't really tell if anything has happened and I'm gonna increase this luminance. This is the amount of noise reduction. I'm gonna increase this by 20. Mm, let's do a little bit more, maybe 30. Uh, 300, nope, uh, 30. 
No, I did it again. Okay. Now I'm going to turn that off and turn it on to see if there's anything that... Yeah, that seems about good to me. Let me look up here in the sky. Sometimes that's where you can really tell in just large areas of the same color. Um, it's not perfect, but it's not bad either. Okay. And so then um, that is going to be it. Oh, finally, let's head over to our color and let's add some vibrance. Maybe turn that to 10. Let's just make this easy on ourselves. Let's turn on the color toning. I'm going to come down here to the show mask tool and use the uh, hue tool here. Turn on the equalizer. And I'm going to pull this down until I can see. So what I'm wanting is I'm wanting the sun area to be completely, the sun area, oops, to be completely um, yellow and I'm wanting everything else to be a little bit less and the reason for that is uh, wherever it's yellow will be the will show the effect of the mask so I can let's say make, turn this over to green so you can see the Sun is green so if I turn on the mask wherever that yellow is 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 what's going to uh, be affected by the colors up here at the top. Uh, and that's good to know because <clears throat> if you mask this right, like you can see here, if I mask it right, then I'll get the, the correct effect. So now all of this would be unaffected by the color toning. Something like that. And then let's turn up the mask blur quite a bit. Okay. Now we have a green sunrise, which is nice, but not quite what we're looking for. There we go. So now we have a nice orange glow around our sunrise, but it keeps uh, the blue that's there. Okay. So now we have gone ahead and color toned. We've, we've edited, our, edited our image. So I'm going to come down here and click copy. And then I'm going to go select the image to the left all the way and then select all of the images. Uh, just holding shift to select everything. And right click and come down here to file processing operations and paste partial. Now I'm going to go ahead and click everything uh, and then I'm going to click un I'm going to unclick white balance and that's because every once in a while the white balance will change in between shots and if it changes it generally reads correctly in the computer but if you take a shot that has a slight white balance change um, and then you apply that same change throughout all of your photos if all of your photos don't have the exact same white balance you can actually augment part of your photos or, or the color of your photos. So I'm going to keep the white balance unchecked and then click OK. All right, so you can see here, uh, I actually have some extra photos that were there. So I'm going to double click this one. Yeah. And I'm going to go and select these all, right click and say put to Q. 79 photos. Let's just go to the desktop and make a new folder, call it time lapse, and click create, and then click open and start. There we go. So let's go ahead and close out of uh, raw therapy. So anyway, I hope that this has been really helpful. Remember that if you have photos that you have edited, go ahead and use that RT edit, RT underscore edit hashtag, and I will definitely look for that. And uh, any of those photos, I wanna hopefully put those out here on this channel. 
So thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you so choose, and I will see you next time.